And now we are going to that, um, that segment where we inspire you, try to motivate you. We don't even try. We, we, we seriously motivate you. It is you who tries not to get motivated. Very. Mm. And it's a happy Thursday. And speaking about Thursday, we are driven uh, by politics and business. But let us get to know what business tip is there. Mm. For We're going us. to kick start it off with a business quote okay. uh, to see how best can you move through your Thursday. Now let's get it with our business quote of the day. And this one is coming in from Aristotle, the father of Western uh, philosophy, who is highlighting pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. Okay. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. Well, this one is uh, a bit tricky. Pleasure in the job goes uh, actually a lot of things that build, uh, that drive the pleasure in the job. I, uh, I believe the pleasure in the job is uh, normally driven by how Love, your working passion. environment. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So your working environment, how is your working environment? Does it drive you to have that pleasure mm -hmm. in the job? But the so you mean there are situations that drive us to have the pleasure? Yes, you're working there environment. There are situations that drive me to have passion in my work or love. Exactly. I've been in working environments whereby you find a lot of intimidation. Mm. Whereby you're working for an employee who's intimidating you. Have you been in a situation where you will find your boss and you don't want to approach them? <laughs> I have not been in that situation. Now, ah, well, the, I've been the, there before, yes. way back. Way there are back. situations where you meet your Just boss and you want it. to run the other side. Mm. You don't, you're not respecting now, you're fearing. So there's, there's no pleasure with the way you're doing your job and it's not going to breed good results of work because why you're, do you fear? You're, you're feeling into why were you why did you fear if you could you know no, in tell most us cases, from a past in most experience. cases your boss creates a room of intimidation mm -hmm. and sometimes they tend not to act, to actually know mm -hmm. that they have intimidated you mm -hmm. uh, because it comes back to the statements you use while addressing your employees it scares some Mm. So once you start scaring someone with the way you address them, they feel in, uh, they actually feel intimidated. They're like, ah, eh. <laughs> So at the end of the day, all the time, or even when your boss overlooks, looks at you, and you're like, what have what, I done now? What wrong and they're not knocking, I done? And they're not, not saying anything. So you feel it. You, you feel that. But that's that a natural fear. cause. So, even parents mm -hmm. do that. You, you feel that fear in you, mm -hmm. and and sometimes you feel like. You feel more free. Haven't you been in workplaces where people feel more free when their boss is not around? And I've been getting all these discussions with most of the people who are employed. Mm. And someone tells you, ha, they don't boss you are so uncle. And you're like, okay, now I go. And, and whereby uh -huh. even when someone is relaxing at their workplace, now I'm ha, boss, yo. No, kuba wedi. So oba na abula wo. You get busy. So in most cases, that determines whether you're going to have pleasure at work mm. or how free you will be at work. Mm. But when you're okay with your bosses and uh, clearly not any personal attachments, because mm. you're free with them, you laugh with them, you, you, you get to interact with them. Mm. And I think that also brings out that pleasure. You have pleasure while you're doing your work. And it brings good results for you. At and I do agree with you. But also you can get, you know, pleasure from love of what you do. Because they say pleasure at your job will create, you know, a successful work. Will make sure you work towards a, a success. You're not just, you know, working for the sake. But if you feel what you are putting your hands on is having an impact, this as, as well comes with, you know, solution best than having an impact. Are you doing some things to hurt other people? Are you doing work? Is your business there for hurting people? Is your business there to make sure other people go uh, uh, bleeding? Or we have seen businesses um, like cartel, cartel businesses. They are there. Very many. They are cartel businesses. Some, you know, bring around bloodshed and some are just clean. But is there any cartel business that is clean? But whatever the case, people still money get money be, out. The money may be clean. The money may be clean. <laughs> <laughs> so what I am saying here as I conclude on uh, this particular one, can you always try to put love in what you do, not just love, put respect, put discipline, listen to other people, put passion in it, 
And let me tell you something. Stop doing things that you, you don't want. Because you know, you're not going to be productive at any time. If you're doing things that you don't feel you want to do for the sake of just doing them, you're, not, you're never going to be productive at it. Number one, your mind, soul, and body is not there. So what are you doing? That means you're always going to give poor results. Always put love and passion, and that will create a very good perception. In turn, you'll have pleasure and enjoy what you're doing. And uh, definitely, when it comes to passion, passion drives a lot of uh, good returns when it comes to your workplace. Mm. You can even be uh, considered as... Uh, let's say when you look at the gratitudes that they will give at your workplace and they will come out and say, well, this is our employee of the month. And uh, in some workplaces it comes with uh, an extra allowance with you. They're like, we are res uh, we're actually saying you're the employee of the month. Mm -hmm. Thank you for serving us well this time around. Mm -hmm. And the also adding to your CV. There. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So passion drives a lot. And uh, it also, so working with pleasure will reap good results for your boss or for even your business. It is also important for you to do a business that you feel is actually going to add on to you and uh, when you're doing this business do it with love and that energy be aggressive with your business make it part of you and you'll definitely get the results going and now let's take a look at our business tip which tip can you add to your business or which tip can you add to your workplace and it can actually blossom and create profits Very well, and uh, still we drive on taking or taking a stand for yourself. Now the tip is take a stand for yourself. If you are dissatisfied with your current circumstances, admit that no one can fix them except for you. It does not or it, does, uh, it doesn't do any good to blame the economy, blaming your boss, your spouse or your family. Change can only occur when you make a conscious decision to make it happen. So still we're standing on to yourself, making sure you are the decision maker in the center, making sure your family at some point, we accept. The family was to make decisions for you at some, some way back. Your spouse makes decisions for you sometimes, very well, not all the time. And um, your boss makes decisions for you sometimes but not all the time so sometimes you've got to balance what you're really doing with yourself and with your work if you are um, maybe uh, managing some entity where you are you don't you don't have to blame it to maybe someone you know superior to you that this is not working out but how are you making sure you make decisions that are right to make sure that you're going to change that situation on that concern mm. that is arising mm. from employees, the concern that is arising from um, your family, because we're not just here to talk about business people, but we need for the family too. So always make sure what you do even at work, take it on to your family when you go home. I don't think that at work you're someone who is a smiley. I mean, people, are, you know, there are people who are, you know, that way. You, you find them very jolly at work. When they reach home, they just shut. Exactly. It's like when, uh, no one exists there. They, oh, because they feel more free at Nebabira Mulu City K Waka. They don't want to address issues. And also when you look at this, like Rita you said, mm. in most cases, uh, to put it in a personal perspective, driving the message home, mm is let's let's learn to address our challenges mm -hmm. and uh because solving if I you need don't step that up. if you put it mm -hmm. directly you've translated it yes that's indeed. exactly indeed. what it was well, saying. instead of seeing that we, we are forced to think mm -hmm. that our challenges are because of someone else's mm -hmm. intervention it was we believe now since i've failed to get this money today that is why in some cases people have the same businesses in the same area and there is one who is making more money than the others because he's doing something the rest are not doing and at the end of the day and why did they choose the other person instead of you? So you're always going to be the person who's going to change your life. So even when it comes to decision making, I can only uh, 
take a very simple example. When it comes to university students and choosing careers, mm. it is upon you now. Your parent will decide on uh, the university you're going to take simply because maybe they are going to pay for your tuition, all that. But when it comes to a time when it's Sometimes you first they even yourself. Because uh, they are friends. You because know? your friends because are going to do this course. Because their friends are going to the same even university. You don't even know what you're going to do as a person. So it goes back to your decision making. You always make, you need to make sure that the decision you make is from your, your own good. Or for your own good. And make sure that you, st you stand by it. Regardless of whether you're going to face some uh, challenges in there. But make sure that you're standing on your own choice. Not to actually throw things at people or your young neighbor or young man called in a course into them or your answer with only meaning in the Tibansa Sula. So go a little of was and go gain die. So called was a government will now gain die. We better answer Sula. Plan it be a war. I've actually had uh, friends telling me, you know, my mom told me to do this, you know, my dad told me to do this. But you look at the person, um, mm. the age is between uh, 25, between 25 and 30. Exactly. And you know they are still abiding. And unfortunately, and, and I'm not what saying, happens I'm if... I'm not saying you disobey your parents. What happens if your parents them? die and you're now left alone? So those are some of the things people need to think of. I'm not saying, but mm. anyway, we shall all die. You communicate, you mm. communicate with them. I've seen people, uh, um, uh, my friend communicates. Chica. <laughs> Someone dies and you know, you because of that love, I don't know, it's, it's because of that too much attachment and that love, you tend to be stuck at some point when you're pa the person that, uh, you know, drives you, drives your back, pushes you a lot, seems to uh, be yeah. no more, and you feel like you're stuck, you cannot move because your dad was telling you, you know, uh, checking on you every day, what are you doing, have you eaten, what have you, I mean, if you're 25 and above, uh, mm. Actually, not even 25. 20, 20 18 even. 18. 20. I've, I've seen, <laughs> I've, I've okay, seen. let's take 20, Jara. Okay. Let's take 20. Mm. At 18, 18, you're still, you know, very you young. There's a number of hustlers in town. Young boys at 18 years. Mm. Young girls starting up their own businesses. Jewish making. You see, life hits us differently. But every time you accept life to hit you from a soft... If, if you expect life to come at you softly. A soft angle. You, you're not going to make it. Mm. Because you're always used to the soft. That is why I say 18 is enough for someone to realize at 18 I'm going to struggle. Mm. If you push it at 20, they will say, if they reach 20, they will be like, I am, but I'm 20. I'm 20, mm. I still have, I still you have know, more uh, two mm. years to go to mm. make sure I make decisions for myself. But what I need to conclude on as we discuss around making decisions for yourself, we're, we're reflecting back on that tip that you have to manage circumstances around you because nobody's going to make choices, nobody's going to take decisions for you. So what you should know today is that you are the cheerleader of yourself. Nobody is going to always come and, you know, say, Rita, I love you. You have to wake up and say that to yourself every day. You have to wake up knowing how am I going to get money today. In fact, not waking up, but you should sleep knowing as you sleep, as you slumber in the night, can you think about tomorrow, how am I going to get money? So making uh, decisions and uh, turning around circumstances around you begins with you, not your dad, not your mother, not your boss, but with you. If exactly. So it starts with you and the change is with